playing the part of the gaffer, and the gaffer in the hot shop is the one that sits at the bench and decides what we're going to make. So Matt has a pretty good idea of what he wants to make uh, as far as the shape goes. Laid out some color. We had a big discussion about color this morning. I think uh, we have some help picking out some of the colors that are down there, so that's kind of cool. Is that it for the frit, Matt? All right, that's points in the process. Doesn't matter what you're making. You want it nice and hot all the way through. You want it on center. So generally we like to work the bubble a little long. It's hot enough that we just hang it down and it stretches. Cooling off the end of the bubble now. And the end of the bubble is the bottom of the piece. Advanced tools. Matt has the folded up Seattle Times newspaper soaked in water. <laughs> and I have the pocket puffer. This is the COVID way to blow glass. I can talk and blow at the same time. I doing that 400 years ago. Squeezing the bubble down, right? As it gets bigger, it gets thinner, so it's going to cool down faster. It's going to heat up faster. Blowing. Right now, you know, it doesn't, it's not really glowing or moving anymore. Uh, but it's still about 1200 degrees, 1000 degrees or so. We don't want it to get too much colder than that. If we do, we run the risk of having it fall on the floor or explode in the front. But this glass doesn't really start moving until about 1600 degrees. So anything below that is really too cold to do anything with. So, Matt, done with the bottom. I'm going to take a little gather of clear glass again and then on the end of this solid steel rod. This one's called a punch. So I'll shape it up, present it to Matt in such a way that we can attach it to the bottom of the piece. Then we're gonna break it off the blow pipe and we connect it here. Now, a couple of things. Matt is trusting that I can do my part correctly. Temperature and timing are of the utmost importance. If either one of us is too cold when we go to break it off of the blow pipe, it's not gonna stick. Teach will come crashing to the floor. Well, thank you guys for coming. <laughs> well, that's going to end the demo a little early. We'll have to come back in an hour. <laughs> so if this works, feel free to give them a round of applause. If you want, you don't have to, but uh, if it falls on the floor, just clap louder. <laughs> it's rare. It happens up here, but uh, it's kind of a bonus for you guys when it breaks. Because it does happen. It can happen. Matt's making all this look really easy. And the, hot, uh, the glass is hot enough to crack when we put water on it. Up ready? Yeah. Ready! Intentionally cracking the glass, light tap on the pipe, and it should pop right off. All right! Yeah! I'm not going to be able to make it straight on the center. Same concept. Tiny little point of contact. It's about the diameter of a dime. It's a pretty precarious little joint. We had one last chance to do that. We did that, so now we can move on to the next step. Take as much or as little as you want. Leave the rest for you guys because I have enough material and enough heat. And if my arms were longer, I could stretch it even farther. But that's not all we Now this part. Pulled off so fast I can touch it with my fingers. Wow. So you guys can touch it too. You're not allowed to, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> nobody wants to touch it up here anytime soon. Uh -uh. You get third degree burns if you do. Wow. And this goes over here. Get back to helping out Matt here. I'm gonna go back and forth between the furnace and the bench now, uh, finishing off the shape. Spot, right? We want it to break, but in one spot, in one spot only. So, here we go. I got a couple of sticks. A little drop of water, ever so slight tap, and it's just pop right on. Wow, all right. Generally, there's a little sharp ring where that monkey was connected, so Matt's going to hot torch that. The torch is about, I don't know, about 3,000 degrees, so it won't take long to smooth those edges out and we have a beautiful face by